Second storm is strengthening to the west, and it's already hit parts of Missouri and Colorado hard. That's the storm that's heading our way tonight. 27 Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman is here. And Cam, the snow is starting in just yes. a couple of mm -hmm. hours. So yeah. get us started. What do we need to know? Uh, it's going to be an interesting time, guys. Uh, we have that winter storm warning that is in effect uh, kicking off early tomorrow morning. You see all the pink behind me here. Uh, that's the National Weather Service saying, hey, heads up. There's snow headed your way, not just a little bit of it, uh, quite a bit of snowfall on the way for not only us, but as Brandon and Sarah mentioned, check out how wide the scope of this winter storm stretches from here in Madison and southern Wisconsin all the way to parts of the American Southwest. You can see this blizzard warning, the red on your screen extending as far south as Oklahoma, Texas and beyond. Now, thankfully, we're not going to necessarily see blizzard conditions. We will see strong winds. We will see heavy snowfall. But as we get a little bit closer to home, this is why we are seeing that significant winter weather uh, system uh, slowly churn towards parts of southern Wisconsin. Now, here is the low right now, centralized just northwest of Oklahoma City. That system is going to slowly push out towards parts of Missouri, central Illinois, eventually past south of Chicago, head up towards parts of southern Michigan, eventually depositing quite a bit of snowfall here at home. However, as of now, that is just not the case. There's no snow for our part of the nation quite yet. That will change, however. Checking out our Constellation camera overlooking downtown Madison, the Capitol building, East Wash there in the foreground. It is quiet. It's cool. It's 32 degrees. We have a lot of cloud cover today, keeping temperatures relatively stable, and we will continue to see that as we head into tomorrow as well. A lot of cloud cover, a lot of moisture. A lot of snowfall, not allowing the temperature to fluctuate a whole lot. 33 degrees at 7 o'clock this evening, 33 by 8 o'clock as well. Now, between 7 and 8, we start to see a few of those light flurries inching over the far southern and southwestern reaches of our region. Our future track at 10 o'clock in the evening, check this out, 33 in Janesville, 32 Monroe, 31 Mineral Point. But you can see that snow beginning to push in. That's going to slowly migrate up towards Madison, Baraboo, Montello as well. As that occurs, we start to see a few pockets of maybe some heavier flurries, heavier showers here and there, becoming a bit more widespread as we reach towards 1 32 o'clock in the morning. By the time we're waking up early Tuesday morning, this is the main event. Few light showers at first before dawn. As dawn arrives, heavy, organized, sustained snowfall heads our way, and that is what's going to impact that morning commute. So initially, your morning commute might not necessarily be all that bad, especially close to 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. By 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, we are talking significant impacts of that morning commute. So delays, uh, very slick roads, a possibility. There may be some areas across southern Wisconsin that are going to be downright hard to travel on throughout the day tomorrow because of that heavy organized snowfall. And that can be said for your evening commute as well as, in fact, your evening commute probably looks a little bit messier than your morning commute. So going back to our future track, this is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You're getting the idea at this point. Heavy snowfall continues to fall. Our future track data brings the snow out of the region as early as around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I'm not necessarily expecting that. In fact, I'm expecting the snowfall to hang on until at least midnight to 3 a.m. It's around that time period, that three-hour stretch, the last of the flurries will fly, and eventually we can start talking about drier conditions. But how much snow is headed our way? Well, quite a bit of it, in fact. In fact, the latest projections showing about 7 to 9 inches for Madison proper, 2 hours southeast, 9 to 12 inches of snowfall possibility. Closer to the coastline, a bit more of a slush or wintry mix, not quite as much snowfall headed our way. Here's your extended forecast. Temperatures hovering around the mid to low 30s for the meantime, Tuesday, Wednesday. Another potential significant winter weather system heads our way for Friday into Saturday. That one's on the horizon, keeping our eyes closely on that.